It's a dream destination for millions of tourists and one of Florida's largest employers. Now the streets, rides and car parks of Disney World in Orlando are deserted. The company's now putting its resources behind food distribution, but in other parts of the state it's a different story. In Miami, university students on their spring break are blatantly ignoring warnings about gathering in large crowds. The governor of Florida has told them to knock it off, but many seem unconcerned about the health risks. We need a refund. This virus ain't that serious. It's, serious. it's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty, and we need to address that. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach and they're closing all of it? It's really messing up. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. On Florida's West Coast, too, tourists and locals appear blissfully ignorant of the dangers of the pandemic. The Jordan family, visiting from Tennessee, wrongly believe the whole crisis is a hoax. There's a lot more people die from the flu and a lot more people die from swine flu than any coronavirus probably will ever kill. Everybody's going to get it eventually. It's a viral infection. Parts of Miami Beach are now closed, but stiffer measures may be needed. It's hard to believe this far into the crisis there are some that appear unconcerned with the pandemic. While the young are less at risk, they're not exempt. They may not get critically ill, but they could also be carriers for the more vulnerable. Florida thrives on tourism, but the crowds we're seeing here aren't helping. Even President Trump, who until a few days ago was playing down the risks, says young people are taking irresponsible chances. We don't want them gathering, and I see they do gather, including on beaches and including in restaurants, young people. Uh, they don't realize that they're feeling invincible. I don't know if you felt invincible when you were very young, but uh, they were feeling totally invincible or are feeling that way, but they don't realize that they can be carrying lots of bad things home to grandmother and grandfather and even their parents. Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis has warned are, people not to gather in groups of more than 10. It's a warning that few here seem to be heeding. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.